अंग्रेज अपना लगान और न्यूज लॉन्ड्री अपना हफ्ता कभी नहीं छोड़ते आई एम योर होस्ट फॉर दिस वीक दिस इज मनीषा पांडे मैनेजिंग एडिटर एट न्यूज लॉन्ड्री अभिनंदन हैड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ब्रेकफास्ट मीटिंग सो ही वॉज अन एबल टू अटेंड दिस पॉडकास्ट रिकॉर्डिंग वी स्टार्ट रिकॉर्डिंग द पॉडकास्ट ऑन फ्राइडे नाउ एज अपोज टू थर्सडे सो दैट वेर लिटिल मोर न्यूजी बाय द टाइम वी रीच यू ऑन सैटरडे So here I am. I'm going to be doing the hosting duties this week, and we've had such a spectacular week, Raman sir. Yeah. So the panel is completely in house. We had this bombshell of a story. Yes. Which is creating waves. It's on front page not of QI. Not just the waves. You have three seasoned politicians, hmm. and we do not know who is telling the truth. So for context, uh, this is an interview that Shrinivasan Jain did with Ajit Pawar. where he said that you know we were in touch with the bjp this is before the party broke up and we met at uh, adani everyone was there uh-huh. this meeting happened amit shah was there praful patel was there adani was there and this is the first time ajit pawar has admitted to adani being present along with amit shah <laughs> while yeah. there are discussions of what's going to happen with the party no ajit pawar uh, i mean we first interviewed ajit pawar and he began uh you know telling that in 2019 uh the people who attended the meeting so he named adani hmm. in that sabko malum hai kaha meeting hui delhi mein kis industries ke ghar mein meeting hui sab sab malum hai abhi wo nikal ke hamare ye aane wale chunav mein kuch bhi hone wala nahi wo jaane do na ye naya chunav ke bare mein puchho na nahi 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 aap hua wo hua okay nahi main isliye puch raha hu aapne kaha bhi hai ये सारे उस वक्त पांच मीटिंग्स आपने कहा हुआ था उस वक्त हुआ है ना शरद पवार जी के नॉलेज में सब सबके साथ हुआ था आपको जैन साहब को वापिस बताता हूँ अमित शाह थे गौतम अडानी थे प्रफुल पटेल थे देवेंद्र फडणवीस थे अजित पवार थे पवार साहब थे सब थे नेक्स्ट डे ही जस्ट बैक डाउट ही सर नहीं अडानी नहीं थे एंड वी इंटरव्यू सीनियर पवार शरद पवार ही revealed that the meeting had happened at adani's house yeah he adani wasn't there in the meeting but later he joined us for dinner this is we were not exactly had that person meeting but there was a meeting yeah it's adani's house it's adani's house in delhi maybe and it was a dinner meeting and we were taking for dinner for dinner Yeah, and, and that who was so there was you was there, Amit Shah was there. I took I think I did that. And the reason for the meeting, according to Senior Pawar, is that they were given to understand that some of the cases that they were facing and MLAs and the parties were facing could go away if they joined the BJP. Senior Pawar says that you know he didn't trust the BJP would keep its promise, and colleagues suggested why don't you go listen to them what they have to say, and that was the reason for the meeting that happened at Adani's <laughs> residence. And the worst is. Fadnavis gave an interview to Hindu Today, hmm. and he said the meeting did not happen at at uh, Adani's place. But he was there, so a lot of history. <laughs> We're going to discuss this. But both these interviews are behind the paywall. You can get a News Laundry subscription and listen to them, watch them. If you're already a subscriber, I urge you guys to check these two interviews out. They've made quite a splash this election season, and we're happy and we're very chuffed about it. Uh, meanwhile, of course, let's. introduce the panel we have a completely in house panel today jayshree joining us from lovely chennai where the aqi is 30 aqi is quite good yes yeah. hello what's your aqi in delhi today it <sighs> must be 400 plus yeah it must be Man. 100 for yeah it's crazy it's, it's very just bad. nuts we have prateek also joining us from pune hi prateek hi you've been traveling all over maharashtra for the past uh, few days so we'll get a sense of what you are picking up on the ground and we'll get your views also on this whole power fiasco anand vardhan who's joining us after a while i think chhat puja mein the okay so you were back home uh raman kirpal of course hello welcome everyone uh before we get into the discussion let's get the headlines of the day yes so here are the headlines of the week okay so let's go to prateek first prateek uh, very very uh touching and very well done story from maratwada on mm. the widows there the people you met said that you know we figure nowhere in this uh, election you know season so tell us a little bit about that story i mean the election ka is a bola bola ki jo hote hai wo log matlab 
ये जो जैसे शिवसेना स्प्रिट हुआ था एनसीपी स्प्रिट हुआ उसके पहले बीजेपी और सेना जब फर्स्ट टाइम आए थे दो में लेकिन सेना चली गई एनसीपी और कांग्रेस के साथ तो वो लोग का जो पर्सनल इश्यूज है मतलब वो वो सारे मुद्दे वहीं पे ही उनके अटके हुए जैसे औरंगजेब वाली बात हो गई या उद्धव ठाकरे बार बार वही बोलता है अभी तक वही बोलता है पन्नास खोके खोके सरकार फडनवीस और ये लोग सब मतलब उस उनका जो उनको जो धोखा मिला था उसके बारे में बोलते हैं शरद पवार और अजीत पवार वो उनका जो स्प्रिट हो गया उसके मतलब पर्सनल जो भी है उनके पर्सनल इश्यूज को लेके वो अच्छी इसको मुद्दा बनाने की कोशिश करते हैं बट इस ऐसे मुद्दे जो एक्चुअली बहुत ही ज्यादा अभी खतरनाक है और इतने लोग उसमें दिक्कत हो रही है और किसानों की एक्चुअली बहुत मतलब सुसाइड तो एक चीज है ही और उनका जो डेली लिविंग है इतना खतरनाक बहुत ही बुरी स्थिति में है मतलब बहुत ही ज्यादा गरीबी है सो दिस एरिया इज मराठवाड़ा एंड विदर सो आई मीन पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल द पार्टी फ्रॉम एनसीपी ऑल्सो फ्रॉम कांग्रेस ऑल्सो फ्रॉम बीजेपी ऑल्सो सो इट्स नॉट लाइक की सम पर्टिकुलर एम एल ए इट्स हैपनिंग इन दंस्टेंसी ऑफ एनी पर्टिकुलर एम एल ए इट्स हैपनिंग इन द एंटायर एरिया सो दैट इज द इशू so it's more so but then also they are not uh, i mean this this kind of issue can be uh, coming to ajit pawar jayshree and then maybe anand and then raman sir can weigh in this interview that is you know making quite a lot of news i yeah. was just curious about and of course none of us um, have insights into it of course pratik could have because he's there and he reports on maharashtra politics but i'm just wondering that when someone like an ajit pawar for the first time it's kind of it's always been implied that adani was present at these meetings or that he was an important part in maharashtra politics yeah. this is never said on record and when ajit pawar is talking to shrinivas jain he very casually says that you know everyone knows this so i'm wondering can someone of his stature or and can someone with such a canny understanding of politics and symbolism and what he says could he have just said this without thinking of the repercussions of what you know it would mean for the bjp or I mean, was this a deliberate kind of a thing to you know put I out there i mean i thought it seemed very deliberate like he slipped it in very casually but obviously he's deliberately saying it because the implication is that also sharad pawar agreed to this right mm-hmm. he agreed to come for this meeting he agreed to listen to his party colleagues who said oh my god we have so many cases so please help us and you must go for this meeting but my other thing is okay so this came out and it's not shocking in the sense that none of us are shocked that dani plays a bigger role than we sort of knew in the public but what i was very surprised about is that this should be a nationwide uproar right i mean we know that let us take it a, a bit cynically also that who you go to negotiate with other political force as you go with your friends and you go with your powerful friends <laughs> and mr adani is a powerful friend who can also offer something to the party who are who you are negotiating with so uh, it's an informal process political parties are in informal process it it was not a government process if it was a government contract if it was a governmental process it is a process by political parties to form a government yeah. or to break a government that is a different ball game so the illegality factor is not there i'm not following ajit pawar much hmm. but hmm. there i think he just wanted to have a dig at his uncle okay i mean yeah. adani is a dirty word in politics hmm. okay uh, congress keeps speaking about adani adani hmm. okay uh, the opposition uh, i mean they had adani as one they always yeah. used to weaponize it to you you know tarnish the image of the bjp okay the bjp is just men just working for uh, one working man for one man for the benefit of one yeah man. so i think he, he so maybe he just wanted to have a dig at you know uh, his uncle who at the at this point of time supporting the congress and uh, who is part of the other camp so so th- coming from maharashtra to jharkhand uh, i actually wanted to discuss this this hafta this insider outsider uh sentiment that has taken over elections and in different ways and i was in jharkhand last week mm. and it was very fascinating to be in jharkhand right after the american elections because you know donald trump's victory principally on the back of immigrants are coming in hordes and taking away your identity your jobs and america is under threat because of immigrants and you know so that's the rhetoric that gets him to power and then when you go to jharkhand there's this deep sense of among everyone it's not just bjp supporters but 
the question of who's a jharkhandi is at the center of this election to my mind see jharkhand state was formed because uh, like uh, the rss working there had pitched it as one anchal because that's just another word for the mm. jungle and the jhar is the more local version of it so there is uh, uh, even the earlier santhali movement in jharkhand like uh, Mm, say Birsa Munda and uh, this, uh, they had this colonial enemy dikus. So they called outsiders dikus and they were painted as demons. Mm. And uh, that has uh, now percolated in the uh, original inhabitants. Uh, in the original inhabitants of the land, they think themselves as in Siders. Now that original inhabitant pool is not very large. It's not very large because of the interface it had with the outside. But anyone who points at outsiders as a problem is usually acting in bad faith. I think especially because in India, they are usually working class migrants and labor migration has been a thing for such a long time. But people like to point at something as the problem because otherwise you'll have to point fingers at a concept like capitalism, which... You know, it's not very sexy to do that. It doesn't make for very good speeches. And I think it's very easy to weaponize prejudice against the working class, especially what Anand talked about in terms of how people perceive Biharis when they move to different states as migrants. And I mean, what is an outsider? Like if a man moves from Meerut to Delhi, is he an insider or is he an outsider? Who is the insider of Delhi? And these are bullshit ideas that I feel that they gain currency because it does very well in places like the US. It's a major election issue because they weaponize it. So and the thing with... The insider-outsider talk, you know, it begins when there is a stress on the economic needs of the native population. Hmm. So that's how it begins. But it is very innocuous initially and... Uh, and you will see some kind of jostling and some kind of competition to, you know, uh, overcome those economic uh, needs uh, between the uh, insiders and outsiders. But it becomes notorious the moment politicians touch it. Mm, the moment yeah. politicians start talking about it. And and that takes a very ugly, that takes a very ugly turn. Those of you who are watching this as on Chota Hafta, who are not subscribing to News Laundry, guys, please subscribe. Not only will you get to listen to this whole thing, the full two-hour video, it's behind the paywall. You can watch it, listen to it. It's a fun podcast, a weekly podcast where we try and give you perspective and analysis on the news of the week. But you can also catch our interviews that are behind the paywall. You can read fabulous reporting that's behind the paywall, including a very in-depth article that Basant has done on Mahesh Langa, the Hindu journalist who's been arrested. Complicated case and he's done a very good deep dive on it. So you can read stuff like that. You can support our work. There's a QR code flashing on your screen right now. We will let it flash for some time so that you guys can easily scan it and support us, support independent media. Bas, muft mein itna ich milega. For the full uncut podcast, subscribe to News Laundry and pay to keep news free. The best way to listen to the Hafta and indeed all our podcasts is through the News Laundry app. You can download the app by clicking on the links given in the show notes. So do download our app and get the best podcast experience. And also pay for news and support a new news media ecosystem that News Laundry is trying to encourage, where we are accountable to you because we run on contributions that you make. We don't take government ads, we don't take corporations ads, so that news serves the public because when the public pays, the public is served. Subscribe to News Laundry, click on the link in the show notes below and proudly say, I pay to keep news free.